Yeah, that that will pull in with the clamp. Yeah. Right. That that will pull in with the clamp. <laughs> you try and get this clamp Well, it's easier with the combustor not in place. So the missing out. Yes. Missing? The combustor, the rapid start <laughs> combustor. This big bit that sits here is missing. Right. So this should be easy because last time we did this, we had the combustor in situ, and it made it harder. So I was looking at the thought something was missing, but I think the thought was missing. Yes, I had, to, I had to take the combustor out to get the starter motor in. Right. Um, because the way it had been left, it was at such an awkward angle, but I couldn't get it in. Right, is there a technique to get this in? Or will it literally just... Uh, try and wrap it round. Oh, yeah. And get the well, it, 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 it's, it's tight. What do you mean to zip ties? Right, zip ties. We had to do zip ties last time because the combustor was in the way, way but we couldn't see what we were doing. But you've got so much more room now to play yes, with, cool. you can get both hands up there, no problem. So this should go on in a breeze. Right. 11 30 second spanner to get it on with. That is a specially spanner for the job. Great. This is the starter. Uh, you can tell it's got, it's got a heat shield around it. Basically, how it works is uh, it's, it's almost, in a sense, like a um, like a turbo in your car um, and it basically the air comes past the blades and it rotates the the fins which then also turns the engine over um, and it's got a few ducts one to the igniter and then one to the engine and this one is right at the top um, it's, yeah so this is the top one basically and uh, you can't see where it's got to go it's all, you also sort of rely on your senses. I mean, some would say it's more of an engine out job, but skill really. <laughs> oh, what that though? Maybe. I cannot. No, definitely not. <laughs> that would be too good to be through. Right, I think <laughs> this is the second time lucky. But it's somewhat there. Come on. <laughs> the issue is now is spinning it round because a lot of if you like shuts up in the way. It makes it hard because you're working at a height as well as not being able to see at all what you're doing. Hey, we're all right, are we? Better to double check. Oh yeah. Than to get it in the aircraft and then not be able to fit it. So this is the rapid start combustor. So when the rapid start um, button is pressed, fuel into here, air into there, sparks into there, combustion into the starter motor, pushes the starter motor around, which pushes the gearbox around, which then pushes the engine um, around. So this, this is where it all happens in this segment in here. Refitting the pressure switch. So what the pressure switch does is when it, um, when the airflow comes through, the pressure switch will trip at a certain um, psi. One, what I seem to uh, pressure switch is 105, and that basically signals to the circuit that there's enough pressure in, and the, and the engines, um, engine will start. So we've tested all these pressure switches off, off. So we're just refitting them, and then this will go back on. Um, once these guys have been finished, finished the salsa now. <laughs>
Yes, yeah, sorry, there was a, there was a, the, the combustor had some Jet A1 left in it. <laughs> one wires it with all four on one bit of, um, right. on one bit of wire locking. So there's holes in each four bolts, so you start off at one, go round all four. Um, well. in the correct way so they all tighten each other and then do it up at the end. If you snap it at the end it's redoing all of it again. Have you booked a bench in here today? Well, you remember you must make a booking from now on. <laughs> Need an online booking system for the workshop. Yes. Again. Oh, Can you get my combustor out again, Matt? Pardon? No, this is the this is the combustor from number one engine. Again? Yes. You haven't put it back in here. I'm waiting for an online booking system for the workshop. Come on. Get attacked. We know he's already getting in the pocket. All the free space we put by drove in the trying to start. I'll be the first person who's attacking it so you can't book it. This is that that's what I was short on. Tim, can you come and hold this? Thank you. Yeah, so now if any of those four come undone, they'll tighten each other and stop oh, any yeah. more coming undone. And that's how we do that. That's now ready to go back in the aircraft. Drips all on my floor again! Like so, I'm going to in the airframe, that and that will connect into the starter motor. So we've got to fit that, Is that one of yours, like that and plumb it back in, yeah. and that's how it fits. In the meantime, just going to drop Jet A1 on the workshop I'm just going to continue to drop Jet A1 all over the workshop floor. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping jet here, one everywhere. Right, okay. What we do need is some of this water. I'll drive yeah. it down here and then we'll have a look at we'll it. Have a look at it down here, yeah. yeah. So that is the alternator outlook cooling pipe. So this takes the hot air from the alternator, runs it down the engine bay and deposits it through the door. No guarantees. If I swear in German, is that okay? It's nine. <laughs> Yes. What's the basic problem? Is it lack of space? Is it just an open position or is it...? Combination of all three. So, 
I'm just about touching where the clamp is now. The gap is probably that big and you can't get both hands up there at once. And the gap is about that, that big at the moment. We've got to try and put this clamp into. I'm going to take this clamp out, Dad. Because we can fit, because we can fit the clamp in. Ow, now my, okay. Now my fingers stuck. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So you've got you've got to push it backwards and backwards and forwards, front to back and up at the same time. And there's a locating pin, um, and eventually it will just go in. You pretend there's a leak to some drama, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> I should have a fag, shouldn't I? You have a fag going on, yeah. Right then, Martin, whether that's mission.